Hey guys, welcome back to the Rotman Playthrough. This is episode 68, and welcome back. I got the G, G cookie. Yeah, that's how you say it, G cookie. Um, yeah, so I'm not mad about that other wine cellar the other day. A guildy hosted a wine cellar today, and I donated two attack to him. Um, from Oryx, I got this thing, and then I got G cookie. I was like, yes, another top, which is cool. Let's go to our night, because I don't want to play on my wizard, because I'm going to try to stay off him until I get out of this like danger streak that I've been on okay I'm not putting a crop on my night because I'm just gonna sell that for life and it's good to have like stuff yeah okay that's done so yeah like I said I am going to be doing videos every other day because of uh, just life oh hi my guild is very nice and yeah they're saying hi to me okay this is stupid um, let's see. You're buying a horror staff. Oh, I, I don't even care about the quests anymore. It's just, uh. I wonder if they've, like, did the alchemist yet. Because if they did an alchemist, then I'd actually might do it. Because then you could get, like, the shield of the onyx. Or whatever that you guys. Um. Medusa. I believe you are here also, Mac DeMarco. You're in my realm thing. Oh, night is so easy. It's like big bang stun. Got like 200 more, more XP. Okay, after this sprint world. Uh, there's... What? Okay. Spelling like crazy. Let's do... I haven't done a... Abyss forever. Let's do one of those. Okay. Abyss time. It's because I've just been playing my wizard so much. I've been like, wine cellars just give you like life pots or more than every time. Every time. Uh, I'm just used to the wizard being so squishy. It used to be all the way around. I'm used to night, like, not having to dodge at all. And I'd have trouble adapting to my wizard, but now it's all the way around. I'm just so careful on my wizard. Sometimes, sometimes, all of the last two days, or I think it's, yeah, the last two episodes, actually, I've been, um, uh, yeah, almost dead in my own wine cellar and sitting on a beholder, which is great because you always want to sit on beholders. It's like sitting on a ghost. Ugh, even that will, like, damage a knight a lot, because they're just so high damage bolts and wizards, squishy, you know, I'm surprised it didn't kill me. Ugh, I would've sucked. Good job, Mac DeMarco, you're 4'8", good job. I'm assuming, uh, feels like everyone is still rebuilding. I'm not rebuilding. I try to keep life in my vault. So once I get a character like 6-8 or whatever, I just build up so I get another character 6-8 and then I just build up and so forth. So I'm out of character slots and then, you know, you just build up your wealth. And if you die on a character and you have two character slots and you're they're both 6-8, then you can just farm on the other one and get pots and then, da -da. And then if you go on a killing streak and you like kill three of your guys, you still have one guy, like the priest. Ah, uh, I had a 3A priest with UTs on Expo, C wands, not that valuable, but he's like my backup, and I died on all my characters, and then he died in a public tomb by Bess, and I was like, the only character, I don't know what the heck happened, it just died, because priest, you just push space usually, and you don't die, but I must have got shotgunned or something. But all I remember is his death. I'm like, what? How did that happen? I wasn't even close to Geb. It wasn't rage phase or anything. It just puzzles me. How did that happen? Okay, I'm just gonna go into more rush mode once I lo not level up. Not level up, come on. E ah, get more HP. <sighs> come on, pet. Come on, pet. Give me some more HP points. No, health points. HP points would not make any sense at all. 
Health points, points. Health points, points. Okay, go, 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 knight. Run through that abyss and take all these shots and get healed by your amazing vitality and run around and not die at all and get to the boss room and then rush it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to clear the white demons first and I'm talking really fast for no reason at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go around. You have to, like, talk really fast in Spanish and this is kind of used to talking fast in Spanish because we have Spanish in school that I'm learning. Yeah. I'm not that good at Spanish, but <laughs> I can speak some. Yeah. Dusa. Yes, as an abbreviation from Madusa in our language, our realm. There's like a special realm language that you adapt over time. I remember when I didn't even know what uh, out of eight meant. I was like, what the heck does that mean? And some kind guy explained it to me that it's how many stats out of the eight stats you've maxed. Which, I still haven't maxed one stat yet. I was focused so much, like, my first, well, before I knew about, like, maxing and stuff, my first, like, actually okay character I bought old tops on was a Mystic. And then I learned early on, I mean, later, that you don't need old tops to make you good. Um, yeah. Now, okay, loot. And, yeah, my Mystic died. I just wandered right into a protection crystal. And, yeah. That is the story of my mystic. My first character that actually got good gear. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to conclude the episode right here. Thank you for watching. This has been episode 68 of the Rock My Playthrough, and I'll see you next time. Bye.